Now, I'm going to introduce you to a whole different approach to this, and this is called using uh, a function. A function is something that you do in your VBA editor, Visual Basic for Application Editor, and um, it can be a global function, so it would reside in the workbook called personal.xlsd in versions 2007 on up. And so I'm going to show you what I, what I do in the spreadsheet. I created a function called myv, and it feeds it the argument a1, which is the original string. And it does all the things that we've done with the multiple functions here, and then it gives you the value as a result. So if I, if I just repeat that by doing it down here manually, my function's already in my computer, then I'll show you how I built the function. My v, it's a user-defined function, it's a custom function, and I use whatever argument I want. I'm going to use a1 again. So it was not built in. That is like it's, it's a, a sum function, a subtotal function. It's my own personal function. Here's how it works. Alt F11. And if it were in the global uh, uh, workbook, you would see personal.xlsb. But I brought it from my computer to this computer, and I couldn't get it in the, in the global one. And even if I did, it wouldn't stay there because once we turned the computers off, it would disappear. So I simply added a module, and the module looks something like this. I'm going to copy it into another program so you, you can see it. And it is on the handout. Big enough? Yeah. OK. So what it does, it uses a function called instringREV, which essentially finds the position in the, from the right to the left, which is what we want in the first place, in my particular situation. So in passing an argument from the spreadsheet, uh, you can use anything. I, I, when I first did this, I gave it a different name. I, t t tonight, I used cell ref, and I trimmed it. So the cell ref refers back to any cell that you feed into the function. The name of the function is myv, and its argument is cell ref, and that's entered in as a string. But the first thing I did to whatever that string was, I trimmed it. So, Steve, that's where I did it. I was aware of that. And then what it's looking for is where is the space so from counting from the right. So if I do that function in string rev of the cell ref, where's the space? It finds the position of the space from the end of the string. So all I have to do now is spit out the result of it, which is the val of the right string of whatever the function fed it, the length of the entire function minus i. So if it found it in the, uh, well, if you're counting backwards, it's going to hit, hit let's say, a three character, 1.25. There's a decimal point that counts. So it's going to find the space in the fifth position. Because, yes, go find the position in the fifth position. It's not getting get four, just four characters. It's going to get the space. So if I have 1.25, which is four characters, it's finding the space in the fifth position. So if my string was 30, uh, actually, I don't even need to, to, to know the length of the string, but the length of the string is, let's say, 40. 40. Because you're going to the end of the string. You're, you're starting from the right side of the string. The others are starting, including the whole string. Uh, actually, I take, I, I, I take it back. I, I, I is actually giving me the position left to right, is it not? Yeah. Left to right. If, yeah, it finds the position. Right. Yeah, it finds the position left to right. The in, 
It finds it counts though from the back. That's a little confusing. That's why you had to do. Well, that's why. Right. Because that's why in string reverse, the R E V means reverse. So you go from the reverse direction. Right, but but it counts the space. The I should represent the position. From uh, the right side. From the right side. Right, the right side. Beginning the right of most, the string. The, right the very end of your of a one is a, is it. It's an eight, I think, right? Two point six eight right. or because something. Or one point two five. Your comment says position finds position of space from end of string. That's your statement. Yeah, but it, but the value but the value returns is counting left to right. Really? No. Yeah. No, yeah. So. yeah. 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 Well, you've got length in the bottom. Right? Yeah, because because so it's it then has to calculate. Right. Right. Okay. It's That's just about, subtracted right. five from the full length. Yeah. Right. It, it has. Yeah, because the length becomes five. Yeah. It returned thirty-six in the first. That's the relative that's, space yeah. right. going yeah. to the right. Uh, okay, so, so the i the i would be let's say thirty-six Six. or whatever, right. yeah. and forty minus right. thirty-six. So okay. what is the in-string ref and the cell ref referred to? Okay, this is the uh, the cell ref is the argument you feed it. Okay. Uh, feed, okay. I'm feeding right. it a one. And this is this is giving you the position. It finds the position counting from the back, but it, it, the number that it returns is counting from the left. Oh, it's an interesting graph of function that Microsoft wrote, or you wrote, or what? I wrote this function. This is intrinsic. In string ref is intrinsic to Microsoft. It's VBA. How the hell did you find that? Uh, <laughs> how did I find it? Because I was looking for it. Okay. We can see what I does. How, how do I get it I'll back to the fine. spreadsheet? Yeah, okay. Do a message Henry. box. Do a message box. Ah. And, and then print out I. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Now, now we're getting, now we're getting something that makes sense. I equals five. I would really like to see um, from the from the beginning, if you could show step by step how you did this thing with the custom function. I'm really intrigued by that. And so how do you go from doing it in here or whatever you did to making it a function?